to the Casey Glam show, y'all. Okay, so today what I'm going to give you is a um, brats challenge. Yes, sis. I know everyone's been doing it, and I feel like I deserve you guys. I mean, you guys deserve the brats challenge. So stay tuned. Okay, for the brats challenge, the first thing I'm gonna do, of course, is my brows so what i'm doing right now is i'm brushing them outward um whatever whatever that does for you but i feel like um brushing it outward is uh makes the eyebrows more neat sorry you guys my um lighting sucks right now it's been flickering time for new bulb or whatever it is i need but yeah let's get started So to me, the brat's eyebrows are completely arched upward, like in a M shape. So that is why I am arching them this way. Um, plus, I like it this way. Anyway, high point, it makes it seem like I'm doing my eyebrows like, like this. <laughs> like what? Like, say it's like, what? What are you talking about? You feel me? make this part a little higher because I feel like it's not as high as it's supposed to be but whatever we'll fix it with concealer of course so the concealer I'm using is the LA Colors Conceal It you can get it from um beauty supply store I'm in the Chicago area so the beauty supply store here has them they either have this or they have the LA Girl whichever one works So after the eyebrows, we are going to start on the eyes, of course. So I'm going to take my flat hair brush from Shop Miss A, and I'm going to take that same concealer I use on my brows and put it on my legs. We're gonna let this dry. So now 
that we let it dry we are going to go in with our bh cosmetics neutrals palette sorry <laughs> it's a little ratchet to the top at all but um as we're gonna come in with that we are going to take our shop miss a brush yes i love their brushes um review coming soon i forgot to drop it before but um this is the studio e130 brush i'm pretty sure this is the uh Sorry. I'm pretty sure this is the um, eyeshadow brush. I'm not sure. I don't be. I, don't, I really don't be knowing y'all. But okay. So the colors that we are going to use today is this one here, this one here, and then that one. And then we're going to use a cut crease, and then we're going to put that one there. Get get started. Now we're gonna come in with that second shade and we're gonna put it right we're not we're gonna put it where that brow bow is like where i usually describe it so right here we were uh right under the brow and we were coming into the eye now i want to be right there where that bone is and we're gonna put the second shade there the reason why we're putting three shades is to create a transition so, um, usually using transition colors makes the shadow look way better because it, it's blended. It looks like, kind of like a rainbow. You know how like rainbows, rainbow colors come together and they're not like out of order? That's how it, it is. Now we're going to go in with that third color and we're going to come right here where our crease starts. Now we are going to do our cut crease. We are going to take that same smudge brush that we used from Elf for our brows to conceal. We're going to use that to do our cut crease. So we're going to take the same LA Colors concealer, put it on the back of our hand, dip it into the brush, and start cutting the crease. For the brats challenge, we are going to do, I usually don't do my cut creases all the way to the end, but today we're going to do it to the end. When doing a cut crease, I always take my line to the corner of my eye, to the top, all the way to the back, or wherever you want to start. Cut creases never have to start at the end. There are things such as half creases as well. Okay, sis, and now that that is done, we're going to let it dry, but not dry too much because usually um, with cut creases, I don't let my cut crease dry entirely. Uh, sorry, entirely. Usually when it dries entirely, it tends um, to make the eyeshadow not show as much. So we're going to take that last shade that I said we were going to use, this one here, and we're also going to mix it with this shade up here. We don't want it um, too peachy and we don't want it too chalky. So we're gonna mix those two shades and put it on top of the lid. I'm gonna start with the peachy one and then go in with this shade here, the chalky. So I'm adding a third color, which is this color right here in the corner next to my thumb only because those two shades were a little too pink so we're gonna add that as well you know just mix them I don't want it too chalky not not too pinky you gotta have it just right Okay, I'm feeling that. I, I like that. That looks, that's like a shade really close to that color. Okay, 
so now that my shade for my cut crease has been applied we are going to go in with our um eyeliner i'm still surprised i have not run out of this you guys you can get this from the b supply store this is the nk make the sorry nk makeup liquid liner yes b supply store um see i clearly still have the stick on it it's um 199 so, you guys can go ahead and use it. I've been using this since um, 2018, like, May. Um, maybe even before that, I've been having that. And I always wear liner. Like, I always wear liner. So, um, yes, yeah, very useful. It has a lot of product in here. It may look so small, but it has a lot of product in here. Even though I'm, like, on my last edge. But it's, it's enough to get the job done. No worries if your wing or my wing isn't sharp. We're going to use that concealer and make it sharp. Okay, yes. I love this wing I just did. I feel, I feel like I don't really need any correction with this maybe in the corner eye here but we're gonna take that and whatever go on top of it and do it on the side yes i love the way i just did that wing i feel like i just did a one motion swipe i don't have to clean anything no i don't think i, I don't think i have to clean anything i think i am completely fine with the wingy line <laughs> yes okay so the next step that I'm going to do that I usually do right after my eyes. Okay, lighting should be a little bit better than earlier. I uh, have to fix that for a second. Sorry, guys. So I ran out of my shade, so I'm going to find a way for you guys to know what I use when I run out of my shade in the Maybelline Femi. I, my shade is 330, I'm pretty sure, in the Maybelline uh, Matte Poreless. But what I do is take my 355 and my 322 and I mix them together. So I put one on one side, one on the other side. It doesn't really matter what side I put them on or whatever, but that's what I do. So this side is the 322, I think. Should be. But 322 on my right side of my face. And right now I'm putting a 355 on my left. Then I'll be mixing. Okay, so mixing these two shades together actually came out great, even though I put one on one side, one on the other side. Not really, it wasn't really an experiment for me because I've done it before, but the way I applied it was an experiment. So let's finish. Now we're going to apply our Casey Glam Lashes. Here, I will put the description below. Um, I really forgot, I don't even know which ones these are i'm pretty sure this is glam but i will put the description of casey glam lashes below they are now available for purchase so you guys can go ahead and purchase go on um, my instagram at casey glam underscore the website will be launched soon so this is a pre-purchase before the website but i am sending them out now they are not pre-orders they they are just being able to be sent out before the website drops. So this is like a pre-feature, a pre-pre-buy, just for my glam babes. Anybody that follows me on Instagram at CaseyGlam underscore will be able to receive these lashes. Okay, so after deleting 307 worth of stuff. Um, we are now blending. We are still blending. 
Now time for the individual lashes. We're gonna add them to the bottom. Okay, so now adding bottom lashes. After adding bottom lashes, sorry, and consuming my face, we are going to add lipstick. Okay, glam babes, after lipstick has been added, one more thing, final touch. Okay, my babes, this is my breathless and Sasha. All right, my babes, thanks for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe.